What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we have finally got our hands on an Italian team. So we're going to be showcasing him in the Series 12. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It really does go a long way and it helps you grow as a content creator. So huge shout out to everybody who support me as a content creator. It really does go a long way. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in the top left corner with the one and only Kyogre, Twist Scarf Kyogre. This Pokemon is it's OP. It is a OP restricted mod. I think there are three OP restricted mods in this game and Kyogre is one of them. Let me just say, it's Kyogre, Zacian, and Shadow Rider Calyx, right? Best three in the game, hands down, no problem with them. We got the Drizzle ability alongside with the Choice Scarf as item. Then we're rocking out with the perfect Choice Scarf moveset. It's going to be Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Thunder, and Ice Beam for coverage. Second Pokemon on the squad is Inteleon, and I've been trying to get my hands on an Inteleon team for so long. I feel like I haven't used this Pokemon in forever, so when I got my hands on this team, I was like, let's record, let's get after it, let's grab some wins with it. We got the Sniper ability alongside with the Scope Lens as their item. We're rocking Snipe Shot for his... Uh, Signature move and it's his stab move. We also have air slash for coverage, dark pulse for coverage, and last but not least, we have focus energy to raise our critical hit ratio. Middle left is going to be Shed Ninja, and Shed Ninja is one of those cool Pokemon that just appeared in Series 12. We got Wonder Guard, Focus Sash, alongside Poltergeist, Shadow Sneak, Ally Switch, and Indoor. So he's really good at just swapping in and out and protecting ally Pokemon. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Zacian. Like I said, another broken or OP restricted mod. It's got Interpret Sword, Busted Sword, and the normal moveset with the Iron Head Play Rough, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be in Indeedee. And Indeedee is really good at supporting with this uh, team right here because you have the Inteleon who can set up with the Focus Energy. So if you can go Indeedee and Inteleon, set them up with Focus Energy, Dynamax them, roll off from there, and then eventually just let your Indeedee die to follow me and get out of Pokemon like Shed Ninja to protect your Inteleon a little bit more. So really do like this Pokemon, really do like the support moves on them with the Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Expanded Force. It just works too well. It just works too well. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Lander. So great physical attacker for this team with Intimidate alongside with the White Herb as its item. Then we're rocking EQ, Fly, Rock Slide, and Sword Stance to set up, which is a fairly normal moveset for any Landers. But guys, there's the team preview. If you guys want to rent this code for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Series 12 Inteleon team. We're hopping into battle number one, and we're going up against a Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team that also features Zacian, Incineroar, Amoongus, and G-Max Blastoids. All right, how am I going into this one? How am I going to play it? Trick Room is something I definitely have to watch out for. That's looking scary for me. That is looking scary for me. I think I'm going to lead the Inteleon. I feel like Inteleon could be solid. He could also go into the, what's it called? The Amoongus, which could be a pain to deal with. I'm trying to think of how we can actually counter this, because Trick Room is awful. It is awful. It is awful, and I really don't feel like dealing with it. I really don't feel like dealing with Trick Room. Oh, God. I don't think we have any any ways to really deal with Trick Room. We could go into, uh... We could go into, uh, Kyogre here. As a lead. I think Kyogre could be solid for a lead. Nice little Kyogre action. A little bit of Water Spout. If he wants to go into Trick Room, he can go into, like, uh... He can go into the, what's it called? The Moongus, which could be a pain. I don't want to go in DD here. I'm kind of feeling Indeedee, Inteleon, and it's Zacian. Actually, no, let's not go there. Let's go in with both the water guys. Bring Intimidate in the back end and the Zacian in the back as well. I dig it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. This one's going to be tough. This one is definitely going to be tough. I always struggle with Ice Rider, Kylex, Trickling. Especially with teams that have absolutely no counter to Trickling. I feel like this one's going to be tough. I feel like he's going to lead like the P2. I feel like he might lead uh, the Ice Rider, Kylex. He's just going to lead something that kind of pop Trickling. Definitely scaring me. It's definitely scaring me, but we'll see how he goes in this. We're, we're leading our double water boys. Going to anything but Amoongus, right? Anything but Amoongus. Son of a biscuit. Actually, Amoongus and Blast Switch are going to come out here. Now, I don't really mind this. I'm, I can Dynamax and Teleon, right? Just go for an Airstream. Take a little bit of speed action. I could do that. I could do that. Take some speed action. And then we got to watch out for the Spores, though. E. Spore? Spore not looking good. Spore is not looking good. Uh, We could choice to a Thunder, which I really want to. At the same time, Ice Beam could be good. Hmm. What's my plan? We could go into a Water Spout. We know we have speed, and we know we can deal a decent amount of damage, but I feel like this, a Water Spout and a, uh, and an Airstream should be able to take out what's called No Problem. Amoongus No Problem. We know he's going to follow me. He might Shell Smash here. Or not follow me. I think he's going to Rage Powder. Rage Powder, Shell Smash, kind of roll off from there. And then we can just get after the battle that way. I am fine with that, because we should be faster than him with that plus one. On the speed board, but we're Dynamax on Inteleon and we're getting right after this video. This video is all about Inteleon and we're ready to rip with them. 
We are ready to rip with him. We put him up in the sniper tower. He's ready to go. Look at him all the way up there. I love it. I love it. Let's see what he does from here. Is he Dynamaxing straight off? No, he does go for the Rage Powder. So Rage Powder comes out here. I'm cool with that. Water Spouts should still do a decent amount of damage to both these guys. I still really like it. The water Spout coming, coming in hot. Y'all eat. Look at that. That's solid damage. That is some solid damage. So as long as this Amoongus is not holding a, or eating a Koba Berry, we should be fine. Of course, man. Of course this thing's eating a Koba Berry. Can we still KO? This could be gorgeous if we can KO here. This would be gorgeous. And we don't. We don't. So Shell Smash is going to come out here. And that's tough. That is tough because I don't know if a Water Spout can KO that thing. I do not know if it can. Koba Berry doing me dirty. And he's going to yawn. He's gonna, okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with a straight up yawn. I'm definitely cool with a straight up yawn here. That gives me a chance to freely hard swap. Do I hard swap? I can freely go into this, but then that's still a little scary. I could go into Zassian. Zassian ain't too shabby. Hmm. I kind of want to stay in with Kyogre. I kind of do. I don't know why. I kind of do. I'm going to stay in with him. And I think I'm just going to airstream again. I think I'm just going to airstream. I think I'm fine with with letting Kyrie go to sleep. I really am. And he's going to end up Dynamax and Blessings. I'm fine with that. Unless he's not... Oh. Unless he's Max Garden, which, which is definitely an option. It's definitely an option. Just definitely an option. He could be Rage Powdering again, which, again, is another option. This is tough. This is tough. I just don't think it was worth swapping out Kyrie, you know? I just don't I just don't think it's worth it. But what's he gonna do from here? He's gonna, he's gonna max guard. And she's sporing me, I swear. Oh, he's double protecting. Okay, so he's gonna double protect. That that that's that's fine. Okay, cool. That's fine. We'll take out a Moogus next turn with the airstream. I'm cool with that. Okay. This guy's playing really slow. He's going with his Dynamaxes. Let my Pokemon go to sleep. Uh I'm, I'm fine with that, because he's just wasting out his own Dynamax turns. He really is, because what moves does he really have? A water move, a uh ice move. Right, that's pretty much all he has. So we're gonna, we're just gonna uh, go from there, drop a water spout. We're just gonna go into another airstream and grab some more speed. Go after some moves, take him out, and take out this lovely move. So early Dynamax is coming out in this battle. Not a lot of damage coming out from the Dynamaxes either. That's totally fine. He's gonna end up withdrawing a move. And he's gonna go into from there. Imagine if I would have water moved him. Could have been gorgeous. He's gonna go into Zassy. I'm totally cool with that. Because with this airstream, we can outspeed and I can hit that thing with a water. Move. I can hit that thing with a heavy one. Let's see who we I'm confused or I'm curious to see who uh that's what he's gonna go after. I'm curious. We're gonna drop a nice level airstream, chip up some damage over there. Not too much, but still get a speed boost and pose a threat because now we outspeed. Now we outspeed this little booger. Who are you going after? I'm really curious about this. Candy needs coming out. Who are you going after? Kyogre? You're going after my Italian. Let's see. He goes after Kyogre. I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with him going after Kyogre. But then he does do some chip damage around around me, which is a little tough. It's just a little tough, but from here, I just go into a straight snipe shot. Okay, I'm just gonna water spout. Even though I do think he's gonna protect, I think I have to pose this threat onto the Zassian. We have to go for a snipe shot over onto the slot. Because if he doesn't protect, this is a huge KO and really puts us in a great situation. But once Kyogre wakes up, I feel like I can be free to hard swap him, which would be really good for us. And we can go from there. I'm kinda hoping he wakes up like right now. If he wakes up now, that'd be cool. But I'm, but I'm more hoping he, he doesn't wake up. But I'm hoping his ass he doesn't protect, which he doesn't, which is close. So Snipe Shot's can come in here, and this should just dump on this, uh... Should take him out, right? Snipe Shot coming in hot. Get him out of here. Beautiful, yo. Beautiful. Inteleon picking up a huge KO with the Snipe Shot. We get that critical hit due to the scope lens, and then Sniper makes it do more damage. And now we're just thriving good. So he's gonna go for a Max Strike. That's totally cool. After my Inteleon. Inteleon should be able to soak. He's gonna make us minus one on speed, but we're, or we were already plus two. So, yo, we're sitting good. We're sitting good. My boy should wake up next turn. So I think we're fine with swapping him now. And just rolling out from there. Really depends who he brings out. So if he brings out somebody who can't really take water too well. We might just keep him in here. But it depends. We can go into Incineroar. Oh yeah. We gotta, we gotta go for this water spout. We gotta go for this water spout. Because we'll, let's go. He's gonna fake out one of us, right? He's gonna fake out one of us. And his Dynamax is over. Oh my. We are sitting so good. We are sitting so good. We love it. We love it, yo. Inteleon's rolling here. We'll go for a water spout. And we'll double down with the snipe shot. Because if he swaps into Moongus, that's totally fine. Or if he fakes out one of us, he's going to take some big damage from either A, a water spout, or B, a snipe shot from Inteleon. We love it, yo. Inteleon buzzing here in battle number one. 
He's gonna go for the fake out and he fakes out my Inteleon. That's fine. I think Kyogre wakes up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyogre wakes up. Water spout coming out here. We did take some damage, but this still should do a decent amount. Great. Lovely. Huge amount of damage. It's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. This thing's gonna pop a citrus berry, right? Citrus berry, not a guav. Or not figgy. Yeah, it's a citrus berry. Nice lovely citrus berry. Get some HPs and Inteleon flinches and another yawn comes out here. That's fine. You, you, you allow me to uh, hard swap here. He yawns my Kyogre again. <laughs> I'm swapping. I'm out of here. Plus the rain stops, so we can do good with the swap. So I'm going to swap into Lando, drop a little Intimidate, and I know that what's called can't protect. It's in can't protect, so I'm just going to go right after him. I'm going to go right after him, but yo, this battle's pretty much over. We have damage done on the Moongus, and look how low play so it's an instant war. This battle's over. This guy should just run it. We have a full-blown Zacian in the back end, and a full-blown uh, Landers chilling. And we still have my Inteleon, who's plus one on the speed board. He's ripping. He is ripping right now. So he on our Kyogre. We're hard swapping. We're saying, hey, yo, we are out of here. We're not dealing with that. We're going to swap to our Landers and get a nice level of Intimidate off. I doubt he's going up for a water move into my uh, Kyogre. I mean, he could. I think it's all he has is water and ice. This could this could be deadly. He's just going to withdraw all Blastoids. That's fine. That is fine. You can withdraw all Blastoids all day. He's going to go back into Amoogus. And I forgot, Amoogus has Regenerator, so he did get a little bit more HP, but we're thriving here. Snapshot's going to fly through, through here. We're going to say bye-bye to Incineroar. Get on out my game. This thing rips. My boy rips. And he gets another crit. I think it, it might be 100% crit with Snapshot. Because we have the Scope Punch, which gives it a boost. And then we have the, uh, the Snapshot, which uh, gives it a little bit of a boost. Too. And then the Sniper makes any critical hit do more damage. So it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous little combo. So we take him out from there. He's, he's forced to go back into Blastoids. And this match is over. Match is over. Like, just run the battle. I'm done dealing with this guy. I'm done dealing with it. From here, I could drop an EQ, but I think it's just Rock Slide's gonna be the plot. Actually, no. We're just gonna drop an EQ. Yeah, we're going EQ and Air Slash. Because so what's called is faster. Inteleon is faster. So if we take out our own Inteleon, it's really not that big of a deal. Actually, it is because we have a chance to sweep. Hopefully, this guy cancels the battle. <laughs> Hopefully, this guy just cancels the battle straight up. Let's see what he does. Hopefully, my boy just cancels the battle. Just cancel it, dude. No, he doesn't. Blast Wait's his fake out right away. Okay, cool. He faked out him. I'm with that all day. Gets a crit there. And he's looking to spore, yo. He's definitely looking to spore. Air Slash is going to poke through here. We're chipping off some damage. Probably not going to KO, but yeah, did a decent amount of damage. We love it. We love it. He's going to go for a spore. How dare you? How dare you spore me? You little booger. You little booger. How dare you spore me? Can't believe this guy's still in this battle. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. We want this win all day. I'm dropping the EQ. You know what? We're just going to swap into uh, Kyogre. Because I want this, uh, I want this sweep. I do want this sweep. I do want it. <laughs> I do want the sweep, dude. <laughs> I want it for battle number one. But this guy's giving me a tough time. He won't just cancel the battle. He, he's sitting here thinking he can still win this battle. He's sitting here thinking he can still win this battle when I have Kyogre and Sassy in the back end. So we're going to switch to Kyogre. What's called going to drop an EQ soon. He's going to protect. Cool. I really don't care. I really don't care if you protect. EQ's gonna come through here. Kyogre's gonna take a little bit of damage, but it's no big deal. It's not like a significant amount. Actually, if we don't KO this Blastoids, we're sitting in a tough spot. Cool, we KO Blastoids. And we bring our Kyogre down to the red. It's all good. That's GG's. That's gonna be the sweep. That is going to be the sweep. I could just Ice Beam Choice Scarf. It's gonna take him out all day. All day, and I'll Rock Slide just in case. I do not want to hit up on my boy. But yo, can you just cancel battle? I give this guy props for staying in as long as he did, but this battle was over a long time ago. That first battle went perfectly. We dominated with that Inteleon, got the showcase to his fullest potential, and grabbed ourselves a win. We're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a Dialga and Confi. Little trick room team mixed in with coaching Rylu and Zacian, and then he has the Urshfu, alongside with Swampert. Okay, so Swampert's just like a back-end Pokemon. Rylu's there just to coach up, and then he also has the Zacian, which is a big problem. Always a big problem, but how should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like leading a Pokemon like Kyra could be really, really good for us. Right? It could just be really, really good. And then we can go into Landorus. Yeah, Kyogre and potentially Dynamax Landorus. I'm really with that. I'm with that all day. We can take speed boost. We can take special defense boost. That's just huge all day. That's just huge all day. So we're going to bring them two in there. Obviously, we got to bring Zacian. And I think Shed Ninja can kind of roll in the back end. Yeah, yo, let's get Shed Ninja out there. A little bit of Shed Ninja action here in battle number two. You got to love it. You guys got to love it. But I don't even know if I mentioned in uh, battle number one. Question of the day. What starter did you guys choose? I think I might have mentioned it. Maybe I didn't. And if I didn't mention my Twitter... Link's down in the description below. Go follow my Twitter page, yo. We got tons of new content coming over there. We got a uh, easiest way to message me is over there. And we got a huge announcement coming up. So if you guys do have Twitter, do me a favor. Hit that link in the description below. Jeans at Jeans YouTube. Some, one of those two is my name, but the link is down in the description below. Go follow my Twitter page. 
Go follow my Twitter page. But he's gonna go in the Rylu and uh, Swamp. And cool with this. I think we just stay in here. I think we just Dynamax, right? I think we just Dynamax. We have a nice little bit Intimidate going on on both these guys. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna drop a, a Water Spout. Water Spout's definitely my play. And I'm just gonna Dynamax. I'm just gonna go into a. Do I Quake this thing or do I Airstream? I think we're gonna Airstream. Get a little bit of speed action here. I'm with it all day. Let's run it. Let's run it. Swamper and Rylu for a lead. That's a weird lead, right? That's weird. That's weird. Unless he wants to coach it up and just Dynamax it, right? But we already Intimidated, so I feel like we have a little threat going on for him. So we're going to Dynamax our Landers here. Get right after this battle. And we're all from here. I we have a money lead here. I feel like our lead is so solid. It is so solid. It is so solid. I'm loving it. And the best part about having a Twist Scarf Kyogre with Shen Ninja is whenever you want to swap out your Kyogre, you can just swap it with the Shen Ninja. Because, you know, Kyogre, especially a Twist Scarf Pokemon, always wants to swap out. It's just really, really good. But he's going to end up uh, not Dynamaxing, just straight up coaching. And I think we're totally fine with that. I think we just take out the Swampert here, right? And maybe this Rylu with this Water Spell. Oh, he's Sash. You little biscuit. Little buttery biscuit Sash. That's fine. As long as my boy goes. As long as my Lando goes first, which I think he could, yeah. That's like GG's, right? <laughs> Yo, we 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 thriving in this battle. We get rid of the Swampert. We have speed all day. We'd love it. We'd love it. We have Kyogre still have full HP in the rain. This might be a quick battle. This might be a quick battle. He could bring out Dialga, but yo, he brings out Dialga. That's why I want to lead my Landers. Well, it's because we, we have super effective ground moves, and it gives you a special defense boost. So that's just a huge counter to, uh, to what's it called? To Dialga. He's going to bring out Zacian. I'm just going to Water Spout and double down into it. Dude, this match is over. It's going to be a quick match. He might just cancel it. Water Spout, Max Quake, right into it. That, dude, it's over. My Pokemon outspeed now with the Airstream, and he just cancels the battle. One turn battle, you guys got to love it. That was one of the quickest battles I've ever had in Sword and Shield. I noticed it was over right off the rip. I was just like, dude, what is he going to do up against this combo? And then he didn't Dynamax the Swampert. And I was like, yo, it is over. It is over. He just swapped his ass. And he's like, nah, I'm out of here. Canceled the battle and left him from there. We had a beautiful one-turn battle. That's perfect. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. We're sitting at 2-0. Oh. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. We're going up against a Zacian and Yvelta team alongside with Landorus, Regilecki, Stormdrake, Gashon, which, of course, I'm going to have to watch out for, and then Grimstorm. Okay, how am I leading? How am I going into this? Um, I kind of want to bring in Inteleon as a lead. I feel like Inteleon could be solid here, but again, Regilecki is just poses such a big threat, so I kind of want to just go in straight into you and then maybe just lead Shed Ninja. Or I can lead something and swap into Shed Ninja. That could be a good call for me. Maybe go Kai Ogre and then potentially swap in the Shed Ninja. It could be my call. It could definitely be my call. Hmm. What do I want to lead Zacian? Because Zacian's solid. Now we're gonna go Kyogre. We're gonna go Shed Ninja and Zacian. That's what we're gonna rock out with. Him. Sorry, Inteleon. I love you, dude, but we got you in battle number one and we dominated with him. So I feel good about this video. I feel good. I feel good about getting Inteleon in. But yeah, we're looking for this winning record here. Or not winning record. We're looking for a perfect record. But this battle might be a little tough for us. Because again, that Storm Dragash on really poses a threat. So I didn't want to bring in two water Pokemon. I really didn't want to do that. I just feel like that's a bad play. Look, like it's a bad play. He's probably gonna lead Regilek. He goes to Belta and out Regilek. Awesome. So he doesn't go in there there. Um, the real question is, do I, what do I do here? I obviously think I Dynamax the, the Lando, and I hit right into that Grimmsnarl, and then, whoosh, we can't go into a water move, actually we could, we could go into a water move, that's the thing, we could go into a water move and dump on the, the extra slot, we could dump into the extra slot, or I can just do this, no, I do, I do not want to change up weather, I'd rather go for a special defense boost, or even a speed boost could be nice. I think taking a speed boost could be nice this turn. Uh, who do we think he swaps, though? I mean, I'd rather tackle onto this thing. I'm still going to choice into a water spout. I really am. I'm still going to choice into a water spout. I do think that's going to be a reply. Because it will still hit the other Pokemon. So it's still really powerful. And I really dig it. Okay, I'm with this. We're just hoping he swaps to give out the above all else. I know he's Dynamaxing. Just Dynamaxing your belts. That's cool. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely real cool with that. We'll, we'll take a nice little speed boost. And then if I have to drop a rock, I will drop a rock. But maybe he doesn't swap the uh, Grimstone. If he doesn't swap the Grimstone, I'm with this turn all day. I'm with this, I'm with this turn all day if he doesn't swap Grimmy. I don't think he does because, I mean, Dynamax comes out. Or uh, swaps come out first, right? Yeah, I believe swaps come out and then Dynamax goes. So he's not swapping. I'll take this turn all day. We'll get off a free water spout. We'll chip up some decent damage. And then we'll roll out with an airstream. 
might even be able to take out Grimstorm if he doesn't pop a late tree turn. Or if he doesn't fake out. There's a lot of different options here. I'm actually thinking about now. I think he's going to fake me out and take out my Kyogre. Leave me alone, dude. Let's see what he does here. Oh, no. Yeah, dude. He's doing it. You little biscuit. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He goes to a darkness. Bye bye, Kyogre, right? Kyogre, your dad can't eat this somehow? He eats it. We're going to have to swap him, though. You're going to have to 1,000% swap this guy. Unless I'm not choice anymore. Am I not choice into a water spout because I got faked out? That could be huge. That's what I'm hoping for. We return our stats to normal. We're going for an airstream. We're going to take a little bit of speed here. Just a tad bit of speed here. Chip up some damage on the Yvelta and then roll off from there because I would love to get off this origin. Unless that thing's Rocket Sucker Punch. Now I think it's Rocket Sucker Punch. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, definitely want to go into a uh, Quake here. I think a Quake could be a little bit better for us. Rocking out into Quake. And then can we go into a Origin Pulse? We can. We might go into a Thunder. I'm kind of all about this Thunder trying to paralyze this thing. I'm with that all day. I'm digging it because we got a little bit of speed here. We're going to choice into our Thunder now. And we're just going to try to paralyze this Yvelta. He does have Sucker Punch. What, dude? This thing is like my Kyogre counter, dude. Kyogre counter. Doing me so dirty. We're going to be able to get the special defense boost. This is going to be big for us because Yvelta is going to come into a shot with us. That's fine. But I do think he goes into an airship. Oh, and that's some huge damage. We love that. That's some big damage. Is that not even Focus Ash? That's rough. That's rough. Is the airstream coming in here? Yeah. I kind of saw the airstream coming. Just due to the fact is, uh... He, what's it called? Uh, he can outspeed us now. Okay. Do he outspeeds us now? Do I go into... I could go into Shed Ninja. Just get off a nice, lovely, uh... Shadow Sneak. And then just play mind games with him. Because that it will really play mind games with him. Him thinking I might ally switch. But now nah, I'm just going to straight up, uh... Shadow sneak and I think I'm just gonna drop a rock on that thing. No, we cannot we cannot we cannot call us buffets. We cannot call us buffets, so I'm not dealing with it. I cannot allow myself to put the buffets on. Because that would just kill my Shininja. Any buffets, hail, sand stream. Is that the only two? I think that's the only two. Any of those just really do my Shininja. So now we're playing mind games with him. Just having Shed Ninja on the field plays mind games. Because it's like, yo, is he gonna ally switch? Like, what's he gonna do? So now this guy's thinking, he's got a long a long, a long thought process to go out here. He's got to really think about this one. But now nah, we're just straight up shadow sneaking. We're going to take out this Crimson all day. And we'll see what he wants to do here. We are special defense boost, which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. And then if I can get off this airstream without him using a uh, airstream, it could be really good for us. The shadow sneak's going to poke. We're going to say bye bye to you. Later, Crimson Earl. Get on out my game. Get on out my game. We pick up KO. And you're about to still sit here posing a little threat to us, which we don't like. He's going to go for an airstream. That's tough. And who are you going after? Going after Lando, that's fine. He goes after Lando, and now his Dynamax turns are over. And so are mine. We're gonna take some life orb damage, and we're hoping that we can just like chip up some damage here. We can always go for the ally switch. Ally switch always works pretty well. The lovely little ally switch could always work. Well. We get the speed. We still have Zassian in the back end. Who who do we think he has in the back? I think he has Storm Drake Ash done, right? Gee, he might he might have not even bought. See if he's gonna throw out here. He's gonna throw out Zassian of his own. That's totally fine. And then from here, I could I could ally switch. I could ally switch. I could drop an EQ too. EQ shadow. Oh, I could try to shadow something. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be real tough for us. It's gonna be real tough for us. Super tough. But I really just want to do this. And then just drop a shadow sneak and hope that it KOs this, but I don't think it can KO him. Could ally switch. I am going to go for this ally switch. I have to get off this EQ, right? I have to get off this EQ. There's no way he reads an ally switch on me. I don't think he reads this ally switch, which could be big for us. Let's see what he does from there. I'm going to go for Oblivion Wing. Go into my Shed Ninja slot. Go in the Shed Ninja slot and just use my Focus Ash. Yes, cool. So we use our Focus Ash. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Now we can drop an EQ here, which should be able to do a decent amount of damage over on that... Uh, over onto that, what's it called? That's Zassian. Wonder Guard's poking. We love it. And then we can Shadow Sneak and take out Yvelta next turn. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. We don't take him out. That's huge damage, though. Substitutes can come out here. Oh, that's awesome. That's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for us. So Shadow Sneak's gonna poke here. Uh, who do we take out? I think this should be able to take him out, right? It's not very effective, but... E. 
so tough. This is so tough. He might protect this. He might protect that. This is a tough call here. This is a tough call here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put go in the safe play here and do that. I'm just gonna drop a rock slide. That's a play all day. Let's see what he does. He might protect Zassy. This could hurt. This could hurt me. This is she belt that needs to go. This should belt that needs to go. But now we're in his head. Now we're in his head. He does protect mm, the Zassy dude. Please think or just go after my uh Shin Ninja. Shadow Sneak comes out here, gets blocked. Oh god, no, no, no. Leave me alone. Heat wave. Oh, heat wave. What a play by him. Who dodged that? Who dodged that? Who just dodged that? Shed Ninja, I love you. That's a huge dodge. That is a huge dodge. Shed Ninja coming in with a big old dodge and clutching up. That's huge. That is enormous. That is enormous. It allows my uh, lander to get another turn. And that heat wave probably should have... It, it would have killed my Shed Ninja. It would have killed Shed Ninja, but then my landers would have still been here. So I think we still would have been thriving here, but still. Shed Ninja coming in clutch with that dodge. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon. It's going to be Regilek. Still have Zassian in the back end, which is great, but we outspeed. We should outspeed. I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak here. I'm going to just drop an EQ freely. Because we're plus two on speed board. Should be faster than the uh, Regilecki, right? Should be faster than Reggie. Oh, what a battle. What a battle. Are we, are we getting a perfect record here? I'll feel it. Oh, yes, sir. We are. This guy just turned off his switch. Yo, get this guy on out my lobby. Yo, GG's over here. Perfect record for today's video. What a way to get a perfect record in today's video. The first battle, we dominated with Inteleon, showcased him to his fullest potential. The second battle, we led Kai, Ogre, and Landers and got ourselves a clean sweep. And then that third and final battle, we made our opponent quit and turn off his switch completely. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.